Hi, everyone. I'm James Cebulski. Down at ice level is Ray Ferraro, and we are amped up to bring you what should be a dandy matchup here this evening. The Stanley Cup playoffs, Ray. I guess you can say, enough said. Everybody knows they're four wins away from being able to hoist the Stanley Cup. As they were a kid, they did it in the driveway, or they did it on their EA game at home. Now they get a chance to do it for real. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. The proverbial line in the sand is drawn at center ice, and we are underway. And he loses control of the puck. Sends the pass over. Big play inside the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. They've got the defense outnumbered. To his teammate. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Timmins. Receives the pass. Can't connect. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Sends a pass over. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Colorado's moving it along the wing. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Colorado's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Snaps one on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Colorado's won the faceoff. Takes the pass. Hershey's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Passes it to Carr. Nice pass. Moves it quickly over to... Scores! Well, that was quick! Well, it's good to be a homer. You're at home. Be a good home team. That's one way to do it. It's a long series, but it's always nice to get the first goal of the series. They're in the back of the net first. The Bears were preaching good start. Mission accomplished so far. Yeah, you can preach it all you want. You've got to execute it. And they came out as aggressive as they possibly could be, and they capitalized early. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Hershey's got it along the wall. Takes control of the puck. Air mails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. Loose puck battle along the boards. Carr's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. And he slides it quickly to Sherwood. And he handles the cross-ice pass. And he regains control of the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Hershey's sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first. So we'll look at the faceoff. And this power play, at the very least, has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. The Bears have it against the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Centering pass in front, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Gets it out of his own end. The Bears will play the puck from behind the net. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. With the tip, great save by the goaltender on that redirect. Slides it across to Anderson, trying to get the puck out of his own end. 
And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. The Eagles get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You had lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. The Eagles take it across the blue line. And not much on that one. Carr's been relentless this playoff season. He's among the league leaders in points, no matter how they check him. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Bears lead it 1-0. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Denies him! Copley saved right there is an excellent one. And he coughs it up with the pass. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Hershey's going to play it from the corner. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Here he is, shot right in front. And that's broken up. Now, yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Picked up along the wall by Johansson. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Passes it over to Wagner. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Here's an odd man rush. And he takes a shot. And there's the save. Oh, and another big stop. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Slides the puck ahead to Wagner. Through center along the wing. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Can't keep a hold of it. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Takes it at center. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. He got all of that hit on the play. Up the neutral zone now. Strong defensive effort. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. The Bears have it now. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Hershey's on the attack. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Puck scooped up by Salamaki. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Great poise here as he gets it back. Puts it on net. He scores! They tie it up! Uh, they've been working hard to get this game back to level, and that goal will do it. Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. Well past the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Move to the middle! Stopped by the goaltender. Puck battle along the boards. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Quick feed to Pilo. Takes the feed. Right in the slot. Denies him. He got all of it. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it to Pilo. Under all sorts of pressure in his own end with the puck now. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Eagles have it in the offensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Battle along the boards. With the steal. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Colorado's in transition. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. No one home on that play. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. 
If you score at this time of the year, you are that. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty to hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. Colorado's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Eagles will go to work here in the offensive zone. Can't hang on after that hit. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Denies that opportunity. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Tries has won the faceoff. Gives them nothing in front. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Salamaki's got it on the offensive end. The Bears get a hold of the puck undermanned. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Slides the puck over. Denied that one. Handles the puck. Straight up the middle. Here they come. The Eagles play it along the boards. And the PK unit keeps them in there. Impressive kill keeping this one tied. That's a long time to sit in the penalty box when the game is tied and you've just taken a penalty to put your team shorthanded. But he gets bailed out. The penalty kill does an excellent job. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. The Eagles will play it in their own end. Moves the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Hangs onto the puck. Pinned up along the boards. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Nice poke check. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. Twenty minutes in the books, and a pretty fun twenty minutes at that. Join our fan club and receive a membership card, discounts on team merchandise and team ringtones, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Colorado's focus going forward is going to be to hold on to the puck much better than they did in that turnover-prone first period. Can't keep a hold of it. Handles the puck from the left side. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Slides the pass over to Timmins. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Puts it towards the net, and he comes up with it. Denies him again! Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops.
Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Colorado's looking to break out. Keeps hold of the puck. Anderson's got it along the wing. The Bears look to start the transition game. And now he moves it to Sprong. Sends the pass over. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Eagles carry it along the wall. Scrum along the boards. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. The power play can be so frustrating. When you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well, you start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Receives the pass. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Sends it over. A big time double G. Great club. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. McDonald's got it in the defensive end. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And a successful clearing attempt. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Gains the zone through center. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Under siege trying to get it out of their zone. The Bears get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Pumps the puck away with the steal. Forces the turnover. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Trying to get back on the attack now. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Penalty coming up. The Bears will play it through the neutral zone. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. The Eagles will serve two for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Colorado's won the draw. Quick pass to Anderson. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. And he denied that opportunity. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's all tied up. The Bears win the draw. Here's a short pass to Carr. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. The centermen glide into position. Barron's won the faceoff. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Puck clears the zone. Hershey's on the attack. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Bears squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though. 
because you showed them great. You had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. Puck picked up by Dries. Strong defensive effort. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes a wrist shot, turns it away. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Moving into the attacking zone. Sends a pass over. Here he is from the slot. Denies him in close. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. But he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. More than half the period has expired. We are all tied up in this one. The Eagles win the draw. Knocks the puck loose. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Here he is in front, and they can't connect. Oh, what a stop with the stick. Takes the pass. Grabs control of it at the point. Nice pass. The Eagles have it against the wall. Takes the feed. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Chase right in front. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Eagles have it now. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Colorado's moving it up the ice. Moved into the middle. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. Gaining momentum along the wing. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. The Bears have been called for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Haven't had a look. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Tripping the call here. Always makes me crack up since I've retired and how guys argue about penalties that are so obvious. Two minutes is two minutes and off to the box he goes to think about it. They'll play some four on four. I love how four on four play has evolved. It used to be race up the ice and shoot the puck. Now teams and players are way more comfortable holding the puck and waiting for the play to develop. Made that stop. 14 minutes, 48 seconds. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Big save. Colorado's got it along the wall. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. Carr's got it in the defensive zone. Across the line from center. Slides it across. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Now, I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Hershey's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. And now he tries to get it across to Pihol. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. The Eagles played along the wing. The Bears now have a short power play after the penalty expired. And it's a quick pass to Johansson. The Bears come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. Turn that chance aside. They fight for it along the boards. Jabs the puck away. And now he angles it across to Gilbert. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. 
completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. The Bears gain possession in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Knocked away. Loose puck battle along the boards. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. They've got numbers. Great read to break up the play. Picks off the pass. Slides the puck over. And he gets in the lane to block that. Burroughs has got it along the wall. Hershey's got the puck in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. Handles the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And that one's broken up. Takes the feed. Tries to make that cross ice feed. Hershey's got it in the neutral zone. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Let's see what the official says here. Burroughs is caught for the trip, and he's going on a trip to the penalty box. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck, and then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stuck. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Hey, fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey games here in attendance tonight. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. The Eagles win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Takes the feed at the point. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Stops him with the glove. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. They clear the zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to tries. Sends it across. Misses the net. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Stones him in front. He scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. He loses about three players, it seems like. Pulls the goalie and then lays one across for the teammate to just push it into the net. The Bears have found the go-ahead goal here in the third period. You worked so hard to give yourself the lead. Now don't give it back by being timid. Hershey's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Takes him from the right side. Big play inside the defensive zone. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Nice zone entry from the right side. 
tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Let's get the call here. The Bears will lose a man tripping the call. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. All right, digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The Eagles once again send out their power play unit. Down by one. Now you've got a power play. Make sure that you're organized and look for the tying goal. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. They get it out of the defensive end. Colorado's got it from behind the net. Through pass ahead. Love the way he moved that puck up quickly. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Hershey's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. The Eagles win the faceoff. Timmons looks around, stays with it, and tries to make a diagonal pass to Anderson. His reflexes on display tonight. He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies right in front of him. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We've got a 2-1 game. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Quick feed to Salamaki. Scores! Putting the power in power play. Did just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalized. The good thing he one-times this puck. The goalie almost gets there. But the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The setters will glide into the dot. Colorado's won the draw in the neutral zone. Gilbert's taking it from his own end. Takes the puck at the point. That's off a stick. Grabs the puck in the slot. He was locked in there. That knocks him off the puck. Taken by McDonald. The Eagles take it along the wall. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Nice job tying up his opponent. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. Moves the puck. The Eagles will play it from the corner. And he was right there. They can't connect. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. That turns out to be a bad shift for them as they take no a kidding. couple of penalties on the same play. That's a hole they're going to have to dig out of. No kidding. They're paying for that sort of chaos on the ice there in the last couple moments. Colorado's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. Too many times on a long five on three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. Now a quick pass to Sherwood. And loses possession after a solid hit. And the puck leaves the zone. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Receives the pass. Sends a pass over. Manages to hang on. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. And that one fired right into the bench. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. 
Colorado's got it, and they're on the attack. Right on the doorstep. Whoa. Scores the go-ahead goal. Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. The Eagles come up with a big goal here in the third. There's a difference between sitting back and protecting and trying to grow the lead. I always like the team that works to make a one-goal lead, too. Tries to feed it over to Carr. Sends it in deep. Colorado's got the puck behind the net. And now he passes up to Sherwood. The man advantage is over. Well, the penalty killing unit has been in tatters for the last little while, but they do a good job here. Kill off this power play cleanly. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Eagles take possession here in the open ice. Barron's going to play it against the half wall. Bumped off the puck. Puts it on goal. Makes the save with the trapper. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Colorado's got a one goal lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Answered the call on that play. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the point, they take control of it. Great hand eye by the goaltender, poking it away. And pokes the puck loose inside the oh. offensive end. Scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one. Wow, what a blunder. He might not see the ice again after the coach talks to him when he gets back to the bench. Too much time for the shooter to pick the top of the net. He doesn't miss. The Eagles continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Bears have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Maintains possession. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Gains the zone from the right. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Trying to shake loose. Quick shot. Denies him on the breakaway. Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie. But the goalie's better. He makes a stop. Steps inside the line. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. That's moved up ahead. That's a good look. Nice long pass. A chance right in front. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Past the midway mark in this period, the Eagles have all the momentum right now, leading by two. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. McDonald's moving it ahead. Takes the pass. Denied by the goaltender. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Here comes the official's call. The Eagles are being called for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays.
The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. And they manage to clear it. 45 seconds. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck across. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Moves it up. Here they come on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. Slides the cross ice pass. Here's a blast. Oh, -ho! great glove save. Where'd that come from? Colorado's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Hershey's got it in the offensive zone. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Hershey's got it in their own zone. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. Moves it to Pihon. The Bears' opportunity to seize momentum in this one is squandered as they fail to capitalize on the power play. That's a big swing and a miss right there for the power play. Critical moment of the game, and they're not able to cash in. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Scrum along the boards. They battle for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Sprong. Sends it quickly to Carr. Here they are on the attack. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Pokes it away in his own end. Centering pass. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Tries to get it to Gilbert. Looks to make a play over to Salamaki. Here's a chance. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Copley's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. The Eagles have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Colorado's won the draw, and they'll go to work. To the low slot. And that's broken up with a stick in front. With possession along the wall. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. And he connects with the long bomb. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Nice dish from the left wing. Takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. Here's a chance to set up now. From the slot, wrist shot, scores! Four unanswered. Maybe they should try both goalies in the net down there. This net is going to get tipped over as they keep scoring. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey they continue to apply the pressure no they're laying a beating on these guys now it may be time to lay back just a bit passes on over to dickinson here's a shot and makes the save he almost lost it for a second there but regains control of the puck the bears looking against the half wall moves right to the middle nice save from point blank range Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Colorado's got it along the wall. Quick pass to Wagner. Nice pass. Here's the shot. Comes up with the stop. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Takes the feed. Nice zone entry from the middle. Shot on net, comes up with the stop. Save made by the goalie. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Here's a shot. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. The Bears will play it in their own end. 
That's all she wrote from this one tonight. one nothing is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season, and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead. They have it now. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.